Let's see if we can express 16 over 21 as a decimal, or we could call this 16 21sts. This is also 16 divided by 21. So we can literally just divide 21 into 16. And because 21 is larger than 16, we're going to get something less than 1. So let's just literally divide 21 into 16. And we're going to have something less than 1, so let's add some decimal places here. And we're going to round to the nearest thousandths in case, in case our digits keep going on and on and on. And let's start dividing. 21 goes into 1 0 times. 21 goes into 16 0 times. 21 goes into 160. Well, 20 would go into 168 times. So let's try 7. 21, let's see if 7 is the right thing. So 7 times 1 is 7. 7 times 2 is 14. And then when we subtract it, we should get a remainder less than 21. If we pick the largest number here that goes into the largest number here, where if I multiply it by 21, I get close to 160 without going over. And so if we subtract, we do get 13. We do get 13. So that worked. 13 is less than 21. And you could just subtract it. I did it in my head right there. But you could regroup. You could say this is a 10. And then this would be a 5. 10 minus 7 is 3. 5 minus 4 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. Now let's bring down a 0. 21 goes into 130. So let's see, would 6 work? It looks like 6 would work. 6 times 21 is 126. So that looks like it works. So let's put a 6 there. 6 times 1 is 6. 6 times 2 is 120. There's a little bit of an art to this. All right, now let's subtract. And once again, we can regroup. This would be a 10. We've taken 10 from essentially this 30. So now this becomes a 2. 10 minus 6 is 4. 2 minus 2 is 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. Now let's bring down, now let's bring down another 0. 21 goes into 40. Well, almost two times, but not quite. So only one time. 1 times 21 is 21. And now let's subtract. This is a 10. This becomes a 3. 10 minus 1 is 9. 3 minus 2 is 1. And we're going to have to get this digit because we want to round to the nearest to the nearest thousand. So this, if this is over, if this is five or over, we're going to round up. If this is less than five, we're going to round down. So let's bring another zero. Let's bring another zero down here. And 21 goes into 190. Let's see, I think nine will work. Let's try nine. Nine times one is nine. Nine times two is 100 or is 18. When you subtract 190 minus 189 is one. And we could keep going on and on and on, but we already have enough digits to round to the nearest thousandth. This digit right over here is greater than, this is greater than or equal to 5. So we will round up in the thousandths place. So if we round to the nearest thousandths, we can say that this is 0 0.76, and then this is where we're going to round up, 762.